Well, hello again, my friends. Three turnings on this weekend. Again, to be edited and probably uploaded remotely from my job site. But this one is going to be exciting. And it's going to be another piece of golden trumpet. I tell you, the bark has been just amazing with this. Even though I've been having to torch it up, to get rid of the fuzzies well this is going to be another fuzzy one but this time it's going to be stick around for an hour okay why isn't that easy picking up because wow i can't believe this i don't know when i paused the camera and all this time i thought i was recording Good thing the wife walked into the shop and I went to pause it. And um, it was already on pause. So, probably did it when I flipped over the uh, piece. So, the underneath, the fibers, I also burned them up uh, a little bit. Have sanded this somewhat. Drilled the uh, center. It might have been when I paused the camera, I'm not sure. Uh, drilled the center and been hollowing out from inside out. Just like what I'm going to be showing you the end of this. I'm, although I'm close. So you see all the fuzz over here. So uh, basically going to do the same thing. Going to torch this uh, top edge so I can get rid of this. The cuts are not bad. Really almost no tool marks. So I'm pleased with that. This is close enough where I could probably sand it. But uh, the torching will help some. Now on this one, I really want these uh, wood grain lines that you see going through here to uh, be pronounced like that, like it's the char uh, part of its character, and not blend them in. I know once I sand it, I will lose quite a bit of it, 
but I will do a final pass and make sure that these characters that you see in there all stay visible. This will truly be one of my, I believe, one of my better pieces. Well, it's sanded and uh, I'm going to apply some Yorkshire grit on the inside and this park area. The very outside, I'll probably, because I'm not going to be able to buff it on the park area. So I'll probably do that with uh, clear lac. But the inside, I will uh, buff this up with the OB shine juice. I think that looks really good. A little bit of uh, OB Shine juice and substituted the, uh, again, it's made with the tongue oil instead of the boiled linseed oil. 
and uh, I always like the uh, the results of either either one. Make sure I dab this on the bark even if I can't rub it because the shellac will stiffen up these fibers as well. I'm not going to be able to get the shine with this on the bark, but then again, bark should not shine either. But but whatever wants to saturate in there on the bark area it will uh, preserve it for long term Beautiful. Can't spin it right away because this would overspray everything. But I can do a hand rub. On the body. I think I want to make this a little bit more pronounced uh, with these lines on the stop edge. Try to avoid getting blotchy. Keep the torch moving. And if you're rotating the piece in speed of the lathe or uniform speed, you can not control the how much the heat uh, affects all over because it will affect different from one spot to the other so you have to manually rotate it to uh, get to the uniform of where you need it to be 
don't trust the rotating of the uh, of the lathe to be what's going to give you the uh, design that you want because that's not going to happen. Well, I think it's time to flip it over and finish up the bottom sides to where I think it should be. I am going to be taking it right here at this line and keeping it about half an inch, three quarters of an inch away from the tabletop.
upside down ball. say so myself. Got a nice droop over on the side, a nice gradual upwards and then it's a fairly deep bowl. It's about three and a half inches uh, deep from the top rim. The bottom has still some of the character of the bark going through it and uh, not nearly as sanded as I would like it to be, being inside and uh, hidden by all this bark, which uh, would make it very tricky to the sanding. Uh, actually, when I was going in there, uh, the sandpaper just touched a couple of these uh, little tips on these uh, bark areas and uh, it gave me a couple of white spots on it which uh, you know it's always disappointing to me whenever I lose any of the integrity of the bark but it's all there pretty much other than that uh, amazing amazing piece of wood not for its wood grain but for its bark balance It uh, reminds me a little bit of when I turned uh, some mango a long time ago with the grain going through it. And to compare it to any wood, it uh, reminds me a little bit of the banyan on this part of it uh, when I turned that a while back. When I first started turning, I came across some banyan, banyan wood. And, uh, that gave me some pretty nice results. Again, I find some firewood. Or oh, let's put it this way, I find some wood that only would be considered firewood. And I have, I have turned the most beautiful pieces out of what is considered to be firewood. Um, sea grape. I have done Melaleuca. Southern yellow pine, <laughs> you name it. Um, I think that, you know, it's not necessarily the wood that has to look nice. You know, I mean, it enhances it if you got a nice pearl or a nice pattern or multiple colors. But generally, when you're already faced with those beauties, it's very hard to make it more beautiful than what it is. And, um, it brings your eye to the overall beauty of a piece of wood and not necessarily the beauty of a piece that other than its design and its form has nothing going for it other than the form. Uh, so on this case, you know, I did torch up the inside a little bit. That's part of the bark, by the way. That's the closest point to the bark. So the bark is actually showing up on the inside right there. But uh, torching that up a little bit, very lightly and uniform, it really showed some amazing wood patterns that's in there that's like what's going through on the bark side. So I think that I think it worked. Now I could have made this a lot thinner. I got... Oh, up here I'm not too bad, but when I get towards the bottom, um, I get to almost a half inch thick. And that is a little thicker than what I normally would like. I could have done it from the inside, or I could have done it from the outside and taken it down. But from the bottom itself, I did want this wing to stay off the table about three quarters of an inch. And that's pretty close to what I got here on the slowest point. You can see that. I mean, it's the thickness of my finger here. I'm 
then it goes up. And the whole thing has a flow over to this side. Well, thanks for watching. I know that's this one. I know by the time I post this, I will be in North Carolina working on my next project. My next project is also in North Carolina. Uh, so I'll be posting it remotely. So that's two turnings for the weekend. I don't feel too bad. Um, came out here yesterday, attempted this with a piece of cherry, did not work. So I altered that design and went with, to a potpourri box. And today I decided to look what piece of wood would give me this design that I wanted. And I think I selected the perfect piece for her. Thanks again. We'll see you very soon.